hello guys welcome back in this video we will be solving one of the important question of pi spark okay so if you can see over here this is the data set here we have name item weight and we have you know uh, the list of names list of items and then their weights okay and the output data set will be like you know uh, the uh, like we have to make a group group of names okay and then we have to uh, show that you know how many uh, items do we have and they are some okay so let's say i i can say he for bill you know for bill person i am having apple taco and apple so see bill having two time apple 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 right so we make we write here apple and then we make the sum of it correct so total four apples he have and bill having bill having taco but that is only two likewise i if i go to this john right so john is having uh, you know tomato one time two time so two time tomato we have but the weight, total weight is five so i have written here five likewise if i go with banana so banana only comes at in one time and the weight is two so this question I received from a LinkedIn post, so I thought to solve it here. Cool. So this is the data frame I have, you know, created. I will give you this data frame in the description box. You can take it from there. Correct. Now I we will try to write the code. So here the thing is, see, what will be your first step? First step is to find out the weight. Find out the total weight. Correct as per name and item so what i will do i'll just write here df uh, let's say df final is equal to df dot so i will use group by correct name and what else we have we have item so i just write here item and then we have to use uh, sum right so i can directly call here sum now if i go to here and write weight and we'll see what it will return okay so it turns like this now i have to change the uh, no i have to change this this column name okay so you might be thinking hey i can easily write here alias and let's say some underscore weight i want to give so i can give like this so let's see will it work or not you can see it is not working correct so we cannot you know alias we cannot use yeah, alias uh, in some function in our aggregation function like this if you want to use alias either we can go with aggregation function correct or we can use with column rename option also cool so i will go with this so it is done over here now actually this is correct right so you can see uh, now john is having tomato let me sort it john is having tomato banana and we have like five two and bill having apple taco we have four two it is correct but uh, the person asked the output in such format okay you can see this is first this is first column and this is the second column right we want only two columns so how we can do that so here uh, i am gonna use i am gonna use uh, what i can use i can go with the collect list function okay yeah i think we can go via that so let's see how we can do so see I want to collect it. I want to collect these two, two columns, right? Item and some weight. So here also, if we if we are collecting, like if we are using group by partition by collect, whatever you know, kind of grouping, if we are doing, so we have to use here group by group by. Always we we have to use cool. And then we have aggregation okay so i will use here collect underscore list cool and here i will pass struct because i need a dictionary kind of thing right like in struct we can pass a couple of columns uh, i mean uh, i mean list of columns we can pass it so that's why i am you know writing here uh, what items and in collect list what i want items and this sum 
wait cool so see where whenever you are using goodbye we have to use aggregation function now so that's why i have it in like this so it's cool like i can put it like this this is struct and over here and then we can give here alias saying that it is items hope it will work okay it is not working because we have item only not items cool and try to display df underscore final you see we have the output now if you wanna you know if you let's say if you do not want to uh, repeat the item then you can uh, use uh, like you know collect underscore set so we have set option also we have list option also so it is up to you know what you need to do correct now you have see you you you, you can see like we have name um, now they they may change the you know uh, a question little bit saying that uh, order by order by this result with the uh, with ascending order or descending order by name then you can use here order by and you can give here name now is it in ascending order so okay we will go with uh, you know like this or if you know if it if you want to order by with descending order then you can also go with this so it is up to you know up to the requirement they may change the requirement they may not so you know it's up to you and please prepare all these kind of questions maybe you know in first round or second round of interview they may ask you this kind of question this is are uh, these all the uh, you know sql questions we just need to solve this using pyspark cool so i hope you understood and thank you bye bye